Hi. I'm out for a walk. I do not feel capable of doing this, but clearly I am. I just started, just coming to the end of my road. <sighs> Literally. Um, so three miles outside because it's 47 degrees and in the next day it's gonna, or two, it's gonna go back down to the teens and um, get really nasty again. So while well, I can get outside and breathe fresh air and do what I have to do, but I'm feeling really, feeling really weird in my head again today. Ever since I just did the little exercise on the bed, just moving my head like that, it's like something in my brain wax. Anyways, I'll check back with you later. Hi. Just popping in again. Just leaning back in my bed. I've been on the phone with my my girlfriend for the last hour or so. And um, just, she's he has anxiety really bad and has been on anti-anxiety meds for many years and it doesn't seem to be working for her and she has a struggle with that. And so we kind of share misery. <sighs> My head is not cleared up at all. Um, if I sit completely still, I'm okay, although I have a lot of pressure and weirdness. But if I move, I mean the smallest amounts of movement, and I just have that dizziness feeling, it's it's exhausting me. I literally feel like um, I'm wiped out the last two days from this. It's wiping me out. Uh but with that said, because the depression, I um, I had vlogged and then I erased it. I had come on crying my eyes out again. I had lost it <clears throat> to the Lord <clears throat> because I, I'm just, I'm so clearly done with this and the depression is just hovering over me very heavily and... um. So I thought, okay, well, then just go sweep the floors, mop the floors, vacuum. So I did. I did all that. Didn't help. Doesn't help. Just makes you worse. I thought about going in the sun. I actually turned the sun on to start warming up. And then I thought, what are you, crazy? You're so whacked. You're going to go in the hot box, especially when it's warm out. It's like almost 50 out right now. Tomorrow night, we're going to get hit with the storm of the century. Um, it's going to rain. 100% chance of rain all day tomorrow. Going to be in near 50. And then by evening, temperature is going to start dropping. The rain's going to start turning to ice. And then that will turn to snow. So we're going to have ice and snow. And then 8 to 12 inches. From Friday night to Saturday night, 8 to 12 inches. Then Sunday, another 3 to 5 inches, I think they said. And then Sunday, it's supposed to taper off after that. So we're supposed to get slammed. Really great to be looking forward to that, right? Not that I go anywhere or do anything, but it just makes me more miserable, so... just wish I could just get a little break from this. I really wish I could get a break. See, now let me turn it this way again and see when I vlog this what happens. Um, I'm going to try to make dinner, like I said earlier. And then I'm going to come back to bed. And I, I'm in bed the rest of the day. Not laying down, but reclining and going to listen to 
a local talk show host that I enjoy listening to. He comes on at three, and I like listening to him, and while I listen to him, I knit. What a life. That's what I get to look forward to. Three o'clock talk show host on local t uh, radio. I made a decision while I was talking to my girlfriend. I said, well, I'm going to give this six months. I'm going to give the antibiotics six months. I think that by six months, if I have not felt any improvement whatsoever, and I mean none, then I'm not going to continue. What would be the point? I've got to see some marked improvement. I need to see something has changed in the way I feel at the six month mark. So I'd have to look back. I think I started this the very beginning of November. I think it was November 1st that I started antibiotics. So November, December, January, February, March, by April. April. Unless the Lord has something else in store for me. But if he doesn't, then that's my plan. I hate holding the, I'm sorry, I can't. I, it actually hurts my arm to hold the phone like that. Don't ask me why. So that's my plan. I'm going to... Hold, please. No, nobody I know. I don't have anything else to say. I'm getting concerned about the depression, though. I will be, admit that. I'm really... All right, I'm going to let you go. Bye. Hi. <clears throat> Sorry. Popping in my last time because I really have nothing more to say for the day and I don't see the day changing any more than it is right now. So talking to my two good friends who are battling the same thing and praying for a change, but I was sitting here thinking today's been really bad with the dizzy. I mean, every movement I've been dizzy. Every single movement I've been dizzy today. Thank God it hasn't turned into vertigo, but it's real close. <clears throat> <clears throat> So I started thinking, maybe I'm herxing. No. Maybe this is a herx. I started the amoxicillin four days ago. So maybe that on top of the zithromycin. I mean, I just, I don't, I don't know what else to make of this. That I've been so bad. Nothing has relieved it, even for a second. I even took my blood pressure because I thought maybe it was really high or really low. And it, I mean, it's not great. It was 138 over 84, I think. So not low, that's for sure. But not extremely high either, so I don't know what to make of it. I just been extremely dizzy the entire day. It has not let up. I mean, as I said, if I don't move at all, I just have the pressure and the weirdness. But if I move Went downstairs to get a bowl of the clams and linguine that I actually did, was able to put together. And I'm holding on to the counter because everything, everything's moving.
and of course my my lymph nodes are humongous and I feel like I might be imagining they feel like they're getting harder excuse me but they I feel like they're getting harder I really don't know how I'm going to get through the rest of the night feeling like this. It's like, man, usually I can think, well, it's going to lighten up a little bit. But it's just... Tried to do some knitting. Even that was making me dizzy. So. Today's been... A scale of 1 to 10... Today was an eight. Today's been an eight. Maybe even an eight and a half. I'll give it an eight because I was able to walk outside. As bad as it was, I did walk. But I couldn't even get into the sauna. It was an eight. And what I'm noticing the last two days is I just feel so tired, like I could fall asleep, but it never happens. I could never nap. My brain doesn't shut down, but I feel that weary and weak feeling. <clears throat> So I have another ball of yarn, and that will finish the the um, scarf I'm making. So hopefully I can finish it this weekend. Big deal, right? Oh man, it's been a rough day today. Today's been rough. A real rough day. Bill commented on my blog that he found that cardio exercise ramped up his symptoms. He got dizzy and he listed the different symptoms under my comments. And see, I found it for a while it was like that and then it seemed like for a while, it kind of did the opposite. So I don't, I don't know what to expect anymore. I'm, I'm afraid to move. I'm afraid not to move. You know, what do you do? You sit still and you get antsy. And then you have too much time to think. And you start to think, oh my God, I'm going to... I'm going to lose my mind. And then you move around, you get really dizzy and off balanced and woozy. And you're like, well, now I'm going to die. You're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, right? I'm really, really frustrated by this. I definitely have gotten way worse and I think it's gotten worse since I started the antibiotics I'd have to I journal but lately I haven't been journaling every day I used to journal every single day but now that I blog I haven't been so I guess I could go back in my journal and and then reinforce it no Lenny you were you were really bad before the antibiotics so guess I'm tired getting really tired so for those of you who are watching thank you please leave comments and prayers
Lord willing, until tomorrow.